I'm here with The Runway, who tonight are participating in a fashionista street fight against Gummy Boar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a history with Gummy Boar. We've already beat them when they've teamed with other people. But now, it's you two versus us. In a fashionista street fight. This is a street fight that I created. And if you think we're going to let Gummy Boar defeat us in our match, our hometown, you got another thing coming. We are going to continue to prove why we are the most fashionable and the most dominant tag team and enjoy wrestling. Strong words from the runway. Yeah, yeah because we're strong. I'm here with Gummy Boar ahead of their Fashionista street fight. Now, this is a match dreamed up by the runway. It's not your choice. So how, how are you going to approach this? What's your strategy going into this Fashionista street fight? Calvin and Tyler, the runway, you've been a pain in our sides ever since we got to enjoy. But tonight, at your Fashionista street fight, you're going to be running away. Gummy Boar is hungry, and we came to enjoy without our manners. <laughs> if I were the runway, I'd be like a little nervous. Your opening contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is sponsored by comedian Zach Funk and his album, Brains Are Weird. This match is a fashionista street fight. Fans, welcome in to Mr. Small's Theater, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Is so excited to have you along. Enjoy wrestling. Something to write home about. Oh. And already the antics have begun, Rich. Something to write home about is going to be a major, major event. We have talent from all over the world here tonight, and kicking off this action here is a fashionista street Tons of action on the way here tonight. What a main event we have on the way. We're going to get to all of that in just a second, but a fashionista battle, uh, what, what, a, street, a fashionista street fight? A fashionista street fight, so the rules are interesting on this one. You can get disqualified for using traditional weapons. However, you may use anything to your advantage that is fashionable, according to Calvin Couture. See, there's already dissent because that is just a plain baseball bat, and I do not think Calvin is very happy about that. And their opponents, the team of the Gummy Bear Kid, Erica Lee, and Pig Daddy Cool, the Bull. Yeah, traditional baseball bat, which uh, our court. Right here, it looks like that 
could be a disqualification. But as we mentioned, the big matchup on the way tonight in our main event, we will see Gannon Jones Jr. square off with Mikey Montgomery. MV Young is in action. He goes one on one with perfect Perkins. But uh, Ned Fair, I'll tell you what, I'm excited to see what this match is all about. I'm still kind of confused about this fashionista street fight. You know, this fashionista street fight, I think, is going to be up to a lot of subjectivity. And uh, we all know that Calvin Couture and the runway in general don't necessarily have the best track record with being fair and judicious. Yeah, that's, that's an understatement. So Gummy Boar returning, and uh, that is uh, Erica Lee. And, uh, and the Gummy Boar. And the Gummy Boar. And let me tell you something about this team. They, you know, they might have a kind of cute gimmick, right? You know, they come out here, they like their snacks, they do their little snack reviews in their downtime. But when they add, are entering the ring as athletes, they are hitting hard. They are aggressive. They are powerful. Oh, my gosh. And look. Well, the... Uh, the the baseball bat. I'm not sure if that's uh, one of those 34 ounces or what the story is. Whoa! Oh, underway. Is that a, what is that, a lightsaber? I think that's a bedazzled baseball bat. A bedazzled bat. Well, that, that's definitely fashionable. Yeah, absolutely. See, it's amazing what a little bit of dressing up of the weapon will do to make it acceptable in this match. Now, I think that perhaps the runway potentially underestimated the creativity of, uh, of this team. Uh, well, that's possible. I mean, Erica is uh, known for being a little off the wall. And, and the go! Oh, the gummy boar! Oh my gosh! In half! It's hard to throw paper that goes that far. I'm telling you, the wind is very difficult. Long-running rivalry between uh, these two teams, the rivalry between Erica and the runway in particular. Fourth time that they battled in a matchup. And you go back to the original Enjoy Odyssey matchup, Erica eliminated all of the runway. Yeah, in one fell swoop, convince them with a, a little catwalk action and boom, knock them both over the top rope. And I do not think that they have forgiven Erica for that. Are those? Interesting turn of events. Sold out crowd here. Oh, chanting pillow. I don't think that was a pillow. That sounded like a. Uh, are loaded, man. I really don't think that those are pillows that you want to sleep on for a full night. A little too firm for my liking. No! Oh. I don't know if there's metal in there. What, what oh, that? There's something no. that. See, that's what I thought. Cookie trays. Cookie trays. There's that's nothing fashionable about cookie trays, is there? That's not fashionable at all. Well, maybe if you if you've got. Oh, man! Double DDT right on right on that tray. I was gonna say maybe if they have you know the little stars and, and the you know the rainbow cutouts and. in there to break it up. See, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, I feel like maybe you should not be allowed to use the baking trays once they've been removed from their fashionable exterior. See, I, I, I'm with you. I'm starting to get the feel for this fashionista street fight. You know, and I, 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 you know there's, it's just a cookie tray. It's just a cookie tray. There's nothing cute about a cookie tray that has no shape. You're correct. Now, if, if Couture and uh, Tyler Klein were to make special cookies. Uh, what kind of shapes do you think they'd be? Uh, they were rocking the bow ties for a while. So bow ties. Perhaps like a, a bow type situation. Ooh. Ooh. Low bridge. And there goes the gummy board to the outside. And now it's Erica. 1v2. You think they, would they make the, you know, the, the Christmas trees? Uh, little moons? What do you think? You know, I feel like maybe a Christmas tree because you can uh, dress a Christmas tree up, make it very sparkly, sure. lots of ornaments. They love accessories, so as, that would as, be right up their alley. As long as you have like the sparkly frosting mm, and the, yes. the, the sparkly sprinkles, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Uh, there's a lot of implements being at. Is that a wig? It sure looks like it. Wig. Dome to the dome. Unbelievable. I was trying to think of some way that uh, somebody's wigging out might work there, but I don't. You know what, Valiant Trey? And you mentioned Christmas trees. Rich, would you believe it? A pride Christmas tree has just appeared in the ring. Wow. For use as a weapon. And I'm inclined to say 
Pretty cute. Are those pictures of themselves? Is that what I'm seeing there? Those are absolutely pictures of themselves. And you know what? I'm just going to say it. Fashion is subjective. There's that fried Christmas tree. We could do some damage with that. Batter up. Ooh. Oh, Eric is not giving it up. Unbelievable. Erica, thinking fast. Right over the skull. Oh! You know, I like that that baseball bat has a little bit of flair. Gay tree, very popular with this crowd. And again, it is Erica in a one-on-two situation. The gummy boar has been... Uh, I don't want to say eliminated, but the runway has done a nice job of keeping the gummy boar on the outside back. No, and Calvin is over here harassing. This, this is unbelievable. Harassing someone who's clearly on the outside struggling to get back into the ring. While Tyler is, oh, now Calvin's taking over. Menacing Erica, and they're switching roles. Choking Erica. Choking Erica. You know, I just feel like this is often a situation we find the runway in. A two-on-one and usually under sketchy circumstances. <laughs> Sound pretty shady. You know, but the thing is, they oh, picked this. Oh, Erica trying to take over. Oh, you know that what baseball is that bat. Thing? Is, that, is, is that the glittery baseball bat? Is I that, believe it's a glittery baseball bat, but it almost it, it looks it looks flat. It's almost like a like a what, what do you call it? The cricket bat? Is it a cricket bat? A it, cricket paddle? It looks flat, which makes me think it probably hurts more, especially if you get hit with the side. Eric is in some trouble here, and I'm not sure what. What is that? I think it's a shoehorn, Rich. A, a shoehorn? That's a large shoehorn. You know, I'm thinking that they're really pushing the boundaries about what is fashion and what is not. Is that a board of tiaras? I thought it was barbed wire, but there's nothing fashionable about barbed wire. Unless though, that is, that's tiara-shaped barbed wire. Mm. That's a very possible, right? You know, I feel like this situation is like a stepping on a Lego situation, right? I'm not trying to step on a plastic tiara. I'm just like... Whoa! Always the risk about bringing a weapon in. They can use it against you, too. This match is weird. And this match brought to you by comedian Zach Funk's album titled Brains Are Weird. I think that's fitting. I think that's quite fitting. Also, I think that someone's about to uh, get some uh, get some action. Who is hit on their brain? Oh, Who is that a painting of? I'm going to be honest. It happened so fast, I couldn't even tell. Spinning heel kick. But what I do know... Cover! Ooh. Oh! That was close. Again, Erica, 1v2, and Bore is up. Bore is up and coming around the ring. Oh, no. Erica's in a bad way. The gummy boy from behind able to bail her out. Thank goodness for that shoe in the ring. Ooh. The gummy boy has been a non-factor in this match for the most part. But right now, trying to make the most of it, double underhook. Couture is in trouble. Oh, McCoy! With the kendo stick! That is, well, a pink kendo stick, I pink suppose that, that stick. There's, there's some flash to that. Yeah, you know, it would have been not fashion had it been plain, but they did zhuzh it up a little bit, so... Uh, they had to what? Zhuzh it. Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up, you know? Just like they did for uh, all of these uh, tools of violence that they're using. Uh, uh -oh. it, ooh! I did not like that. Hey, the snap on that kendo stick. That'll leave some marks. You know, it might be a cute color, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Now, here's what I want to know. If you can get disqualified for using non-fashionable weapons, does the ref make that call to the, to the fans? How, how does that work? You know, I think it's probably up to the... Ooh! Ref's discretion. Well, so far, everything has been uh, flashy, flamboyant, and fashionable. Truly. Except for the original bat, but it was removed. That was before the bell, so it didn't count. Ah, good point. Is Gummy Boar turning it around? A little meeting in the middle. Woo! Kendo stick over the skull. Erica and the Gummy Boar. In control. This is the first time they've been in charge of this match.
capacity crowd here tonight in Pittsburgh getting behind Erica and the Gummy Boar. Now, what makes him a Gummy Boar, by the way? You know, Is he gummy? I think Is he that, sticky? What's happening here? I think that he just really likes Gummy Boars. Okay. You know, they said tonight earlier when I spoke to them that whenever they came into this match, they had left their manners at home. But I also think, given their attitudes, they perhaps also left their snacks at home. Some hanger taking part in this here uh, fashionista street fight. Oh, man. That, there, that is a... You hear the fans at Gummy Door. You know... Notice it says the runway on it. I'm not sure if, uh, if Calvin... And... Uh, Oh, man. Tyler and Calvin probably label that for themselves. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, but it seems to... Oh! But I feel like it's a finder's keepers type situation. Oh, for sure. Just because you put your name on the door doesn't mean that it's your door to use. Erica was able to slam on the brakes. Oh, oh. close. Unfortunately, the door did work in the favor of the runway. Erica can't believe it, and again, outnumbered. The gummy boar is taking himself out of the matchup. Tyler has Erica trapped. Oh. What is in there? Oh! That could be like a, a, a bag full of quarters. Or, oh. or maybe not. Is that? Oh man, is that, is that what I think it is? Oh, those are rhinestones! Erica trying to find a way out of this. I wouldn't want to get tossed onto that pile either. Uh-oh. You gotta say, it uh, is pretty clever to use a weapon that matches Calvin's gear. Erica able to slide free. Big boot. Back into the full Nelson. Oh. Fighting out of it. What is Erica thinking? Doors wide open. <laughs> Erica hits the pedigree. And now Gummy Boar in charge two on one. The tides have finally turned in the favor of Gummy Boar after a relentless match, I would say, on uh, Erica Lee. Uh oh. Oh, oh my God. gosh! That could do it! One. It's all gone! Here are your winners! It's Gummy Boar! What resilience, Gummy Boar! They certainly took a lot of punishment in that Fashionista Street fight, and I will tell you, for as much fashionable weapons as the runway brought, they definitely did not expect the creativity of Gummy Boy. So perhaps they didn't bring the glitter, but who's on the ground covered in glitter? What a way to kick off our first event here on Remix. Thanks so much for joining us, Remix.tv. Of course, for the fans that have traditionally followed and joined wrestling on YouTube, we'll still be there as well. But all the premieres from here on out, right here on Remix. Remix is where we watch wrestling, and there is so much good wrestling on Remix.tv. Gummy Boar showing tons of resilience and fighting through a number of outnumbered situations. I'd say they got that job done with uh, quite some flair. Absolutely. And you know, this is going to be one to write home about. I'm going to be telling my parents about fighting with uh, glittery baseball bats. You know, hitting someone with a pedigree into a pile of sparkles. Incredible. Still to come tonight, Gannon Jones Jr. squares off with Mikey Montgomery in our main event. But on the way next, MV Young is here. The former Enjoy Wrestling champion goes one-on-one -on -one with Perfect Perkins. We'll see if MV can get his groove back. That's coming up next. Professional wrestling has a brand new home where you can watch top-tier action for free. Defy, Enjoy, PCW Ultra, and more. Your new destination for the very best professional wrestling. Remix.tv, where we watch wrestling. I'm here with Perfect Perkins, who tonight has a match with our former champ, MV Young. What can people ex expect from your match tonight? Two years in the making. 
T2T Brooklyn MV trained me, so I know exactly what we're going to do here. It's going to be a bar fight. You're going to throw a couple of hands, a couple of suplexes, maybe drink some whiskey, and that's what's going to be. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is brought to you by Baby Loves Tacos. Is it? Get a load of this guy. The action continues here to join last week's summer right over. Oh, no, 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 but trained under none other than his opponent tonight, MV Young, uh, when MV Young was still training wrestlers in Brooklyn. And uh, coming off his Enjoy title loss to Edith Surreal. You get a sense that MV's feeling a little down, maybe a little under the weather, so to speak. I think that tonight we are going to see a change in MV's demeanor. I think that it is hard to come back from losing your belt after 598 days as champion and to take on a student of yours who, you know, as a teacher, you want your students to be as strong as possible. I think it's going to be a mental challenge for him. Mentioned the former Enjoy it Wrestling champion, close to 600 days as champ. Unprecedented. Truly an impressive title win from MV, and you cannot take that away from him. And you know, honestly, I think that it will be interesting to see where his mind is at because we saw a very different MV Young in that match with Edith. He definitely pulled out some stops he wouldn't, pulled some moves that he wouldn't, and so now that he does not have the pressure of that title, it'll be interesting to see if that frees him to be back in focus or if he's feeling that loss and not sure uh, in his confidence. Tough challenge here tonight. And, and you know, obviously, teacher versus Suda, that's a, a story as old as time, right? Mm -hmm. M MV is going to know every trick that Perfect Perkins has. Maybe the difference in this match will be, you know, trash talk at the teacher a little bit. You know, I would say that this is not, Perfect Perkins is not a student who uh, is going to hold back and uh, definitely has a tremendous amount of confidence in himself. With a little reminder. Watch your place, kid. You think that's a smart thing to do? Or you think that's going to fire up the young guy? Because let, let's face it here, right? So for MV, in a lot of ways, he really doesn't have anything to lose. Mm -hmm. That said, 
coming off a title loss, this could be a pivotal matchup. Envy, as far as confidence goes, if he gets on a, a bit of a losing streak, it can really mess with your mind. Absolutely. And I think especially having, you know, someone you trained be the one that takes you out, that in and of itself is an even greater head trip uh, whenever the student becomes stronger than the master. But I also feel like this is going to be a matchup in which we see a strong style. And a senton. See, you know, I think that for any doubt that MB would be uh, lacking the confidence or leaving behind a skill set, he is still showing us that he is exactly who he was. As nasty and as mean as ever. Perfect Perkins. Oh! You talk about not having anything to lose. I mean, for Perfect Perkins, first singles match, it took part mm -hmm. in the, the, the Enjoy Odyssey, your first high, real high profile singles matchup. Nobody's really sure what to expect from him. If he comes up on the losing end tonight, does that derail him a little bit, or is he already the underdog? Is that just a, a learning curve for him, do you think? You know, I think it could go either way, depending on how... Oh. Oh, man. Firing back. Hey, okay, you knew that was going to be answered quickly. Oh! And a straight right cross. And an overhand shot. Not holding back. Oh boy, uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh! oh, insult to injury. You know, I think for Perkins, winning this match, obviously, huge confidence booster. Losing this match maybe won't hurt his confidence unless... Unless he endures more punishment like that. Out into the crowd they go. Perkins trying to maybe uh, create some separation here. Get a breather with an uppercut. You know, I think uh -oh. that if you're a student. Oh, no. Oh, here they are. Yeah, come. yeah they're, they're coming up towards us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Not over here. Not over here. Oh, no. Look out, Meg. I don't like this at all. Oh, no! Ooh. The people are not happy. How much would Perkins love to embarrass MV on here tonight? Is, is that a factor in this matchup? I think it has to be, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, imagine the confidence boost you're going to get by taking down not only your teacher, but your teacher in his hometown, where he is a beloved icon. Doesn't seem to be too much love loss between these two either. No, absolutely not. I think that probably Perkins has a lot to prove to himself as well, trying to impress his former teacher, especially because when MV was training Perkins, it was at an incredibly busy, intense period of MV's career where he had a lot of notoriety. That's a pretty big shadow to grow under. MV with another shot. Perkins uh, rolled under the bottom rope, back out to continue the fight. So the referee's gonna, oh! Give him some leeway and let it continue. MV just had his head bounced off the ring post. Oh, rough, rough, cannot feel good. And these ring posts are not padded. I can't stress that enough. And they're not rounded either. No, hard corner to hit. Wonder if MV split open, he very well could be. He, he didn't get a chance to, sometimes you're able to get your hands up and slow the momentum a little bit. MV went pretty much flush right into the ring post. It looks like he's... Oh! I don't see any blood, and that's probably a, a good thing for MV. We've seen him uh, lose a lot of blood in this building. And you know, that's just a testament. He's not afraid to bleed a little if it means that he's going to win. And MV Young in his first matchup since losing the Enjoy Wrestling title to Edith Surreal. Of course, we'll have a, a huge match with Edith coming up in a couple weeks. Right here is uh, part of season nine of Enjoy Wrestling. Something to write home about. A big matchup. Oh, so young. That's a couple weeks out. Right now, Perfect Perkins with a perfect suplex. MB Young slow to get up, but he's going to continue the fight. I think that woke MB up. Whoa. Responding in kind. You look at MB. 
just say, how did he get a guy that big up and over for a suplex? He's got some uncanny strength. You know, the thing is, I think people... Oh! What a clothesline from Perkins! Rough, absolutely rough clothesline. I think people do underestimate M.P. Young. But he can take and give a lot of punishment. Big heel kick from Perkins. Slow to roll MV over. Does it with the leg. And a two count. Two count. I'm still reeling from that clothesline. I feel like I felt that. Well, Perkins may be showing uh, some frustration here and perhaps maybe some inexperience instead of focusing. You give MV Young any time to recover. With as tough as he is, you just said it. He's willing to bleed for it if he has to. You don't want to give him a second. And it seems like that's what Perkins did. We'll see if MV is able to capitalize. Uh, perhaps, oh, there you go. There Perkins you go. Taking his eye off the prize momentarily. That definitely is a rookie move, you know. DDT! Oh my goodness. I don't know if Perkins is going to be able to get up from this one. MV spiked him, but he's taking so much abuse. This time it's MV. Who's having a hard time getting into the cover? The referee's going to start the count. They have till 10 to answer. Both seem to be uh, with it. It'll take a couple of seconds and shake off the cobwebs. Both definitely a little rattled, though. And be able to duck under. Oh. Suplex with a bridge. Oh, and he's not letting go. Gator roll through. Another bridge. Three and amigos. Perkins holds on to the top rope. MV not letting up on the waist lock. Nice reversal in the standing switch. And a German suplex from Perkins. Rough. MV folded his uh, neck as he came down and uh, very wisely the former champion to roll onto the bottom rope and try to create some space between himself and his former student. I think that that's again the experience coming in rather than uh, taking the time to jeer at the referee. And when Envy's making space, it's because he needs a moment to collect himself. This may not pay off though. From the apron, Perkins. Dangerous. Out there to beat him, but this time MV holding on to the top rope. King MV might have been luring Perkins out to the apron. We'll find out. Ooh, what's he thinking? Suplex on the apron. Perkins bent in half. <laughs> Referee starting the 10 count. Both are crumbled down on the floor, stirring to try to get back up and continue the matchup. Do you think it would be disappointing for Envy to win this match via count out if that's how this shakes out? I think a win's a win. Referee to seven. And you heard him very emphatically say, you guys don't beat the 10 count, it's over. Up to nine, and it is Young back in. Back Perkins in. Perkins beats the count as well. Just. Up there, yeah, split second ahead. Split second. And Perkins had to be wise to roll on, under there as well. It's incredible that as rough as this match has been, as tough as these two are, both of them are not showing any signs of letting up. Perkins responds. Oh, man. That's an impressive strike. Power slam. Perkins hooks the leg. And he out at two and a half. Holy smokes. That was very close to a three count. Perkins again pleading with the referee, though. You want to beat MV Young, especially on his home turf. You better keep that urgency level up. I'm not seeing that from Perkins. He's been impressive, but now going to the top, I think he may realize here that this is his best chance to, to finish this match off. MV back up with a right hand. High risk, high reward, you know. Converse, conversely, high reward, high risk. Trying to balance himself. Super 
superplex. That takes a lot out of both athletes. That is a lot of man hitting the ground. Yeah, it sure is. You know, sometimes for the person delivering the move as well, if you come down wrong, you, we've already seen MV fold his neck over once earlier in this matchup. That could be a factor here. This sold-out crowd here tonight inside Mr. Small's Theater. Oh, oh my running cannonball! Goodness. This capacity crowd fired up for the former champion, MV Young. Perkins catches him again. Oh, oh. he slammed right into the buckle. Cover! Still not enough to put it away. Skin. Absolutely. And you know, again, I think that if Perkins had just had a little bit more urgency there, he could have gotten that three count. Every moment that he waits to get back on MV is a moment that MV is recovering. Our main event is still to come this week. Gannon Jones Jr. squares off with Mikey Montgomery. That's on the way. And as we mentioned, coming up in a few weeks, it'll be Sue Young challenging Edith Surreal for the entire wrestling championship right here, the former champ, MV Young. The teacher, his student, Perfect Perkins. German suplex from the bridge, and MV nearly got him. You can see MV is figuring out what he's going to do next. Clearly landing on his neck and his head in that way is affecting him. But he seems determined to finish the job. Here. Envy didn't see that coming, and this might be it. Not enough. Envy just shoved his way free. If we think back about all of Envy's title defenses, it takes a lot to get Envy Young to quit. And I think that this is an example of that. And for someone like Perkins, who does not quite have the experience that MV Young does, I think that that probably is a little bit upsetting and annoying, that uh, this person will not fold in the way that maybe someone greener would. MV with a drop kick. Brain buster. It feels really good for MV to have clinched this win after losing the belt. Showing that he still has the fire to make that happen. And not taking away from Perkins, he definitely put forth an amazing effort. I think he challenged MV in a way. Not sure that MV expected that, but it was not enough. MV helping his former student up. Perkins still trying to figure out exactly where he is. shoulders to, to get the win here tonight. Hang on. August 2020. This motherfucker walked into a brand new wrestling school called T2T Brooklyn. how you could be a different wrestler. And I said, you could be like me. You could hit people really fucking hard. And Shaquan, cheers, baby. That's a Pittsburgh beer. It's a Pittsburgh beer. 
You've made me very proud. Give it up for Perfect Perkins. And be sure some sods with us. With his protege, bygones are bygones. Yeah, show of sportsmanship in the Pittsburgh way with an Iron City beer. I mean, is anything else appropriate? Absolutely not, Rich. What a matchup. MB Young with a big win here tonight, but we still have our main event to get to. We are set to see Mikey Montgomery go one-on-one -on -one with Gannon Jones Jr. That matchup on the way next. I'm here with Gannon Jones Jr., who tonight is taking on Mikey Montgomery in one-on-one -on -one singles action. Now, Mikey is super desperate for his first win here at Enjoy Wrestling. Are you feeling any pressure? What's going to be your approach to handling this match? Pressure from me, an all-star? Absolutely not. Look, Mikey, I got nothing but respect for you. I like you. You got fight. You got great. You got heart. But just like you, I'm looking for my first singles win here as well, and you're not going to stop me from making that happen. So tonight, Mikey Montgomery, you're not going to get that first win. Maybe somewhere down the line, but not tonight, not against the All-Star. Strong words from the All-Star. Something to Write Home About is presented to you by the Lions, led by Donkey's podcast. Also brought to you by Mesa Media, Baby Loves Tacos, Marveling at Marvel's Marvel's Podcast. Comedian Zach Funk's album titled Brains Are Weird. Dina and Gotti, Realtor with Realty One Group Horizon, located in Murraysville, Natrona Heights, and Cranberry. We also want to give a shout out to all of our patrons. We couldn't do it without you. You can subscribe at patreon.com to get exclusive Enjoy Wrestling content today. Hey, if you enjoy Enjoy Wrestling, then let the world know that you enjoy Enjoy Wrestling. Get official Enjoy Wrestling merch. Enjoy-wrestling.com is the place to get it. Hey, Enjoy Wrestling fans. Want to help support Enjoy Wrestling? Subscribe to our Patreon. Get sweet benefits like access to the Enjoy Wrestling Discord, where you can chat with the Enjoy Wrestling crew, wrestlers, and like-minded Enjoy Wrestling fans. Plus, get your name in the credits of every episode of Enjoy Wrestling on YouTube, and watch exclusive behind-the-scenes Enjoy Wrestling video content. Help keep Enjoy Wrestling free to watch for everyone. Subscribe to the Enjoy Wrestling Patreon today. I'm here with Mikey Montgomery, who is searching for his first singles win at Enjoy. Now, Mikey, you have risks, risked it all. I mean, I feel like some of your performances here have been the most memorable despite having that win. So what does this mean to you? Well, uh, first and foremost, I want to say you guys don't make it easy on me. Every time I come here, it seems like there's another obstacle to climb, but I'm above this. I can do it. I know I can. Ganon's just another obstacle. I mean, an American gladiator size obstacle, but an obstacle nonetheless that I can climb. So I guess I just have to put two and two together, figure out something. Mikey's gonna figure out something. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is brought to you by Dina Angotti, Realtor with Realty One Group Horizon, locations in Murraysville, Natrona Heights, and Cranberry.
he is an athlete, an all-star athlete. Let me tell you, I stood next to this man earlier. He is a giant. And it's kind of a David and Goliath situation in this match. Fans, don't forget, you can get official Enjoy Wrestling merch. There's shirts, there's foam belts, there's fanny packs, lapel pins, beanies, even hoodies, man. Even hoodies. Let me tell you, I get so many compliments on my hoodie and my corduroy hat as well. Yeah, that corduroy hat's pretty cool. You're going to want to go to enjoy-wrestling.com to get all of the good Enjoy merch so people know you have great taste in independent wrestling. Patreon.com slash Enjoy Wrestling. Help keep Enjoy Wrestling free to watch right here on Remix and on YouTube as well. Lots of great behind-the-scenes content about all of these athletes and these performers and these show days, which are never dull. We are sold out inside Pittsburgh's Mr. Small's Theater. It is a packed crowd. It is an excited crowd. Not a ticket to be had. I mean, this place is jam-packed. They're literally hanging from the rafters here tonight. It's a happening in Pittsburgh. At your glory. said R.I.P. Mikey. You know, I saw those signs, and I uh, hope they don't bother Mikey too much. It's just that Mikey has been known for taking some high risks, uh, including jumping off of the balcony to a right. Look at the size difference. I'm surprised that Mikey agreed to take this, and, uh, well... Daniel Jones Jr. extends the handshake, so the All-Star, at least in the, the outset here, showing some sportsmanship. I mean, you look at this match on paper, you say, huh? You know, it's an interesting pairing. There's a lot of similarities between these two. They might look quite different, they might have different styles, but the reality is they are both trying to make a name for themselves in singles competition in Enjoy Wrestling. Mikey is looking for his first victory here at Enjoy Wrestling. He's competed in multiple matches, tag team scrambles, four versus four matches, and he has been pinned in every one of those matches. So he is hungry for a win. But Gannon Jones Jr. has been known for his work as a tag team wrestler and he is entering singles competition now. So he has a lot to prove, trying to make a name for himself as a singles competitor as well. A lot of stake in this matchup. Montgomery is going to have to use that speed. Not going to out-muscle Gannon Jones. The thing about Mikey is that Mikey is willing to take any risk necessary to make it happen. surprised here Mikey's in charge. I mean, I don't want to sell the young man short by any means, but you look at this, it is, and I hate to say David versus Goliath, but I mean, the size of these, there's going to be 150 pounds between these two. Absolutely. And you know, the thing is, they have very, very different athletic styles. Mikey is fast, high flying, keeping it moving. But Gannon Jones Jr. also has speed and brute strength, right? Jones misses with the Lariat and Mikey, a little piggyback ride with the sleeper. This crowd is pretty split between the two of them. I think they have fans, both of them. And honestly, both competitors are so exciting to watch. They both leave it all in the ring 
and I honestly am excited to see Gannon Jones Jr. in this match because, you know, sometimes somebody wrestling somebody with a different style is quite a challenge, and in martial arts, being small, being lower to the ground can be an advantage in taking someone out in their center of gravity if they're a larger opponent. Gannon certainly thought that he had that one. It's good to see that Gannon is excited and confident here, given that he has made such a name for himself in the main event with Duke Davis. But currently, Duke Davis is taking some time away from the ring. We at Enjoy Wrestling wish him the best, and we hope to see him back soon. But now, in this moment, it's up to Gannon Jones Jr. to hold it down. And he certainly is right now with that chop. We talked about the tag team prowess of Jones. He and Duke Davis, the main event. Oh, man! 13 tag team titles between them. That's, I don't care who you are, where you been, that's impressive. Very impressive. Can Jones Jr. translate that tag team success into singles action? That's what we're trying to find out, and again, I, I think the odds, are, the odds are stacked against Montgomery. I don't know what matchmakers were thinking. I, I don't know how they convinced Mikey to take a match against somebody so, so much bigger. But I think that also shows you the heart that Mikey possesses. The thing about Mikey is that he has so much heart. He has like an unbreakable spirit. It's so amazing to watch him perform because he genuinely is going to leave it all in that ring and do whatever it takes. And that doesn't always work out for him, but it does make people remember him, right? Mikey, who is enduring a lot of punishment right now, is still getting back up. telling you, Mikey is not one to give up easily. And the thing that people who have been coming to enjoy and watching enjoy know is that Mikey is a very, very memorable athlete. He doesn't have a W for sure as a singles opponent. He's been pinned every time. But when he comes out, people are excited to see him enter that ring because they know, oh, two count for Mikey. Misses with the clothesline. Jones catches him. Atomic drop. Oh, man! That was wicked. think that Gannon Jones Jr. took his time. He thought he had that in the bag. You just simply cannot underestimate Mikey. Exciting action all season long here. Season 9 of Enjoy Wrestling. Something to write home about. Thanks so much for joining us on YouTube and here on Remix.tv. Some big stuff coming in the weeks ahead. Finally going to see Birdball in the production battle in a tag team matchup, and I don't think anybody on the, oh, hang on, wait a minute. Referee checking to see if Montgomery's able to continue. Jones thought it was all done. You have to wonder if, if this is becoming frustrating for Jones. I mean, how would you feel if, uh, I don't know, you're, you're in a wrestling match with your 10-year-old your nephew, and you couldn't pin him? Somebody that you're twice the size of. It's kind of what you have right here. Mm, you gotta wonder if Mike even knows where he is, but he certainly landed that one. Really love the fire from Montgomery. This is a kid who gives it a call every single time. Oh man, elbow right to the back of the head. And somehow Montgomery still on his feet, rolling through. Oh no! Whoa! I do.
do not think Anna Jones Jr. It's a cover. Black hooked. Not and quite. Put it away. I'm not sure what Jones was going for there. Mikey adjusted his weight. It looked like anyway from this vantage point. Was able to get Jones off balance and, uh, and rocked him. Mikey shushing the crowd. What is Mikey thinking? Took way too much time. Jones was just laying there and waiting. Trunk slam, Montgomery lands on his feet. Whoa! What an impact! Montgomery kicks out again! Incredible! You have to hand it to Montgomery. It is unbelievable to land like that and still have the have the mind to kick out. Gannon Jones Jr. Montgomery was waiting for him. Mikey again, high risk. Cross body, Jones goes oh. through. That's the worst possible way that could have worked out. Poor Mikey. End of day. That's the end of Mikey Montgomery. Thanks for coming, kid. Get out of here. Get out of here. Unbelievable. Mikey does not quit. Sometimes you have to think to yourself, you know, I've got a long career ahead of me. In the big scheme of things, a loss here, well, you never want to concede a matchup, but I think you know what I'm saying. I know exactly what you mean. But I think that Mikey is not someone who's thinking long term. He is thinking about the here and the now, and he wants that first W. He's been pinned four times. Lowbridge Jones to the outside. Montgomery! Heat seeking missile! The speed on that. It was very smart to get Gannon Jones Jr. right back into the ring after that, not taking his time this time. Looking for sliced bread. Jones able to throw Montgomery aside, pops him up. Falls into the cover. Could this do it? Montgomery determined not to be pinned for a fifth time here to join. I just hope Mikey has a good chiropractor. Check on him, man. If I'm Gannon, I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting on Mike. I'm not giving him this time here, but that's very sporting to make sure that he's able to continue the fight. If you're the referee, are you stepping in here, man? You know, I feel like at this point I am, as a referee, going to be concerned about the longevity of the athlete. But you wonder if Mikey was playing possum right there. Might have been a little bit. Or was just desperate enough to want to create the di to create the distance. Caught. What? Wow, the DDT. Mikey with the DDT. Montgomery has tried to use the ropes to come flying off. Gannon has caught him. It paid off that last time. 
And Mikey finally able to hit that slice bread number two to running Shiranui off of the buckle. Not enough to put Gannon away though, but Mikey so, so close. You wonder if he used all that was left in the gas tank for that though. He's back on his feet. How much capital does Mikey have left? Not sure that's a, a wise move, but maybe Mikey has something else planned. Could he have been trying to lure Gannon Jr. Out? might be one of those things you go back and you watch the tape and say to yourself, not sure what I was thinking there. Easy for me to judge sitting uh, over here though. I feel like Mikey has so much faith in himself. My goodness! And he should, as it turns out. Jones able to slide free. Double honor oh. Montgomery planted, good night. from Mikey Montgomery. And what guts to step in there against a guy twice his size and take him to the limit. Unbelievable. I cannot believe that Mikey picked up Gannon in that way. But ultimately, it was Gannon Jones Jr. who got the victory. Mikey Montgomery's losing skin continues here in joy. Once again, Mikey did not get the win tonight, but I think he did what he always does, and that shows he has a tremendous amount of heart, and people will be thinking about him tonight when they go home and think about their show. I think he impressed Cannon Jones Jr. <laughs> Montgomery shows tons of fire, tons of heart, tons of competitiveness. Gannon Jones Jr., this guy has all the makings of a big star. And nice to see him too. Yeah, nice to see him share the spotlight. The all-star getting the win here tonight. As Enjoy Wrestling presents something to write home about. Here on Remix.tv and on YouTube. But Meg, we have some big stuff coming up in the weeks ahead. I'm really excited to see this matchup. Grim set to go one-on-one -on -one with David Lawless. And boy, what a main event we're going to have next week right here at Enjoy Wrestling. Bird Law. And my goodness, can you believe it? The production set to go to battle. I mean, the production, they've riled everybody up around here from announcers to staff, you name it. Beta and Mike Bailey looking to shut them up once and for all. Absolutely. And after the heat of the punishment that Beta has endured at this table, and I myself have endured in that ring from the production, I think that people are looking for some retribution on Bird Ball's part. We're going to see what happens next week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time right here at Enjoy Wrestling. Enjoy.